Well, fellas, today is the day I lose my rolling coal virginity. I'm gonna be a diesel bro, let's hit it. People said in the comments that if I hold the unlock button, my windows will roll down. Survey says, shocker. All right, moving on. Nowhere in Florida, we still wait for the glow plugs here. Just takes half a second. Boom, done. Let's get there. Baby, you so You know what's going on today, Marcus Parks? I don't know. You know what's going on today. Wait, what's going on with you? You got some parts in the BMW. Oh, really? Ready to put on. Oh, damn, dude. That's sick. So next time we go to the I compound, you're 100% doing 100 it. 100% doing it. I got to just hit some tires. Dude, I'm so excited. And Shaw's got a big, uh, big, big thing going on. We might have a motor. Really? Already? Oh, yeah. man. So, uh... <laughs> After Marcus took a lot of laps in my car, he wants to, um, I don't want to give away the engine, but he wants to engine swap his car. So hopefully that happens soon, but you know what's happened to the truck? We have a lot truck? of parts at the shop actually to, to build it. So there, there's a, there's, that's a hint on like about four different engines that we can put <laughs> in the car, but we're not going to say it until we actually get it. Cause I hate saying my plans and then it taking so long to yeah. do it. So then the hype's just going to go away after a while. So. But what matters now is you're going to be drifting at the compound very soon. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what's happening to the Brodozer today? I do know. We're rolling coal, dude. Yeah, okay. You ready for that big burnout? Yeah. So I need to do a big burnout today. Not because I want to. Of course I want to, but like this burnout is going to be more like sentimental to me because like I'm not going to do a lot of burnouts in this. Like, yes, we're going to put the performance tune in it today. We're going to beat the balls out of it and we're going to have some fun. But I'm mainly doing this tune stuff and doing all this stuff just to get better gas mileage in my truck. Like my truck is like my daily driver and I love the thing and it's super comfortable. It tows great and it fits four to six people. I mean, how comfortable was it going to the compound yesterday? Four people very comfortably. You could fit five in a- five, five, six would be uncomfortable. You could fit five comfortably because three in the back really cares as long as- Yeah, as long as you're in the front, who gives a damn? Whatever. <laughs> but that thing's great. I need to do a burnout today because my front tires are so choppy that I'm just gonna put them to the rear and I'm gonna do a huge burnout. Yeah, you hear that, dude? What up? That, that's Sutton today. We putting it on the dyno or what? <laughs> You're not stoked about that. Listen, I'm always stoked when you bring me something. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't be stoked if there was coal all in your shop. Oh, you're talking about the truck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? No deal. This is my new uh, spokesman. Oh, right. damn it. You should have just said deal then. Dude, no, th I'll tell you one thing. Huh. Last time I put a diesel on this dyno and tried to dyno it with no DPF, it burned a hole in my wall. <laughs> Okay. And then so, Shaw's truck so out the guy, the shop. The guy was a diesel tuner. And yeah. he brought this big apparatus that hooks onto the exhaust. Mm -hmm. And in the first pull, we burned through it. Really? Yeah. And at so, the time, you're probably like, what could go wrong? I was just like, oh, cool. He brought his own stuff. It was like yeah. this big heavy duty. It like, was legit. Rubber metal enforced thing. And, and it just it. burnt it. Burned it. <laughs> he didn't think it was going to burn it, but it did. Well, in that case, we're probably not going to dyno it, but. It's gonna be a big difference. This hey. performance tune is gonna be huge. I want to race your Guess TDI what? though. Guess what? What's up? We can use the V-Box. Ooh, zero to 60. Zero to 60. Uh, you can do horsepower, like simulated horsepower. It does a, 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 a like representation of it, mm -hmm. and it's very accurate. Ooh, that's so sick. We'll use the V-Box, and then we'll, we can actually see the difference in the tune. How are you gonna feel when you get smoked by a 7,000 pound truck? Don't know. Never happened. Never will. Oh, all right. Well. <laughs> Let's get this tune on. This thing in yesterday's video. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, definitely go check it out. We straight sent it at the compound. Like, look at this thing. This thing is absolutely filthy. She is gonna get a full treatment today. Well, probably tomorrow for you guys, but I'm gonna be working on this car today as well. I like messed up my diffuser, like going off and stuff. And like, I just wanna fix a bunch of things. I wanna make sure the shifter's not leaking. And I just wanna clean the interior and just go over everything, do a coolant flush, do an oil change. And we definitely need to get a new radiator. That banana Mishimoto radiator's not gonna cut it anymore. Like, I run the car really hard and obviously it shows because it starts to overheat after a while. But I think with a new like coil radiator and some big ass fans, I really think that will make a difference. So definitely stay tuned for that video. All right, Jack, what are we doing right now? We're about to make this, make this truck a zero to 60 pull, and we'll see what this thing can do. So, 
first things first. Seatbelts on. Seatbelts on. Safety it's, second. It's, it's, it's safety second. AC off because we want ultimate power, all right? We need to see what we can get at a zero to 60. So we're gonna put this sucker in the drive. Even though the AC does shut off when you floor it anyway. I don't know if that's true for a truck. Okay. I kind of want to test that theory now. Okay, yeah, I don't know. That's a good, good point. I really don't know either. I just know for cars it does. What do you think it's gonna run right now? Um, I think my prediction, 11 seconds. 11 seconds? Yeah, 11 seconds. This is even 11 second road. We can do this. We're gonna die. 11 seconds. So we got the, we got the V-Box I'm mounted. going nine. Nine? Nine seconds. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think this thing's gonna run. But we got the V-Box set up. I'm gonna hit start and you can go when you're ready, okay? All right. Should All we right. like brake boost it a little bit? Hell yeah. All right. All right. You ready? Yep, you're ready. Ready when you are. Go okay. ahead. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, the V-Box. Oh no. It's still going. Come on, hit 60, please. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was scary. Hey, not bad. What did I get? Eight seconds, 7.9 seconds. What? Dude, that's pretty impressive for a damn bro. This thing man. rips. I'm a little nervous. We got we got to do another one. We got to do another yeah, one. Yeah, we got to do another one. That we was gotta, pretty terrifying, that, actually. It, we got plenty of room. It kind of pushed us back in the seat a little. A little bit, yeah. This thing's like a Brodo Brodo's a race truck. Well, it's I, about to be a race truck. I'm really, I'm actually impressed. Stock. I really didn't think it was gonna be that quick. Dude, so it's coming for the TDI. It might not be Ooh. coming for Dusty. But well, all of my cars are coming for something of yours. The diesel race series. I can't wait for that. This so we're gonna good. line up, we're gonna do it one more time yeah. just to be get some accurate results, and here we go. All right. So round two. Back. Round two. This time Jack hold the V-box. I yeah, don't wanna I'm damage gonna, that thing. I'm gonna make sure I'm holding on to it. All right. Ready. Oh, we're already started? Oh, oh let's yeah, let's reset it. just in case. Okay, ready. All right, we're gonna give a little brake boost action. Make sure it doesn't roll. Here we go. Ooh, this launch wasn't as good. Let's see. There it goes. Oh. Dude, I don't know. It's taking a long time. Boom. <laughs> 8.1. All right, so I, what did we get the first time? 7.9? 7.9. So pretty good. Yeah, we'll, that's we'll pretty call, accurate. If we split it down the middle and call it eight seconds flat. I think that's fair. That's fair. That launch definitely wasn't as good. I felt it. It but was close, though. 7.9 versus 8.1. Yeah. That's not much of a difference. So that's we know the close. V box was accurate. Yeah. And we're gonna call it an eight second pass. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna give this to the diesel guys. They're gonna do their thing. They're gonna put the performance tune on it and stuff. And I mean, I guess we're gonna be rolling cold next. Yeah, if this thing gets zero to 60s down into sixes, we're gonna run the TDI. For sure. Yeah. I'm so excited, let's, here we go. Let's go. All right, so this Brodozer right now is completely stock other than tires and wheels, obviously, but make the Brodozer great again. I cannot wait. It is about to be a race truck right now. So I wish I filmed this, but as soon as I got in Jack's car, we're going to the gas station right now. What did you do? Well, I'll show you. We're going to go through it again? <laughs> yeah, do All it. Right, I'll show you. So on this car, I have a car options menu that allows me to do certain things. And one of the things I do is I turn off the entire stability control and traction control. I wonder why, Jack. Because, well, from the factory, you can't do that with this car, uh -huh. first of all. Second of all, when you start to mod these cars up and actually make some power, they Oh, rip. it will cut it off. Yeah, it cuts yeah. all the power. Yeah, that's annoying. It, it's annoying as hell, so I'd rather control it with my foot. And now with the upgraded turbo and all the good shit, this thing's got a little pack. I thought you were trying to prove something to me. What am I trying to prove? That it's going to beat the truck. I thought you had to show off a little. I, I am going to show oh. off. <laughs> I don't know if I need to prove it, but I do like to drive this car pretty hard. All right, let's see it. All right. Dude, I want to feel a first through third action you right ready? now. You ready? Yeah. You ready to feel that? I haven't felt the new turbo. All right. Here we go. I'm ready. ready. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Ooh, third picks up quick when it's feel not that? spinning. This thing's fun. I can't wait to race, dude. It's going to be fun. There you go. Throw down in the comments right now. It's not going to be this video, but throw down in the comments what you think is going to win. Performance. Brodozer race truck or race TDI super golf super golf throw it down in the comments this car's gonna win <laughs> this guy's sitting all over his rear you all right man Roll coal life. yeah dude I can't wait to be a part of that life heck yeah 
All right, guys, and just like that, my truck is tuned. The diesel guys, they worked their magic, and now this thing is sounding mean. So before I start the truck, I just want to show you again what it sounded like stock. So here's that clip revving. And now I can show you what it sounds like now. Now I will warn you, it doesn't sound like Tommy's F-350 over there just because his truck is a 2012 and his turbo is a little different and they both make different noises. I have a new, newer turbo and it's actually quieter. Not gonna lie, a little bummed about it. I don't think mine's gonna soot as hard, but at the end of the day, I think I'm making more power than him anyways because of my new turbo. So honestly, it's a win, it's a win-lose situation. Like I don't roll as much coal but I'm faster and more efficient. So, I mean, I, I guess at the end of the day, it's better, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start this thing right now. I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod and throw it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. you guys just saw it. I am officially a diesel bro. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. One thing I don't really like so far is it, it's a bit more smelly. Um, I don't really like the diesel smell. I, before it didn't really smell too much, but now she, she's a bit stinky. I think I'll get used to that over time, but who cares? I mean, we're rolling coal, we're having a good time, we're up 150 horsepower, so now what I want to do is I want to go get Jack's V-Box, and I want to see what the 060 is going to be like now, now that we're on the performance tune. There's five tunes, we're on number five, so let's, let's just go rage it. Just vacuuming out my truck for this nice occasion. I figured I got my detail spray right here. Figured, you know, since the truck's getting a bunch of mods, I might as well clean her up. I was gonna do a car wash, but it's been raining all day ever since I talked to you guys last, so I haven't been able to do that. All right, so Jack went home for the day, so sadly we're not gonna be using the V-Box right now. But what we're going to do right now is I, I told you guys that my tires in the front were all chopped up, so the diesel guys, they rotated them to the back. So, I mean, we have to do a burnout, so my wheels stop shaking, we stop hearing all this hum noise. Courtney, you know what I did to the truck? Or I didn't do the truck. You know what the diesel bros did to the truck? What did they do? They made it faster, and we, we smoke a little. Oh, yeah? You know what that means? I know what that means. I don't think you do. Yes, I, I have, do. I have yet to, like, actually do a solid pull because it's been raining all day, so we're about to feel it. You like ready? right now? Right now. Oh. You kidding me? <laughs> Waiting all day for this shit. Let's roll down the windows. You got you try to look in the mirror right there. You ready? <laughs> well, she rips. I, I like to consider this a race truck now. What do you think, Courtney? It's getting there. <laughs> How come you can never just be on my side? I'm j I am always on your side. Thanks. Well, we're going to go to Mexico real quick. And we're not going to do a lot of burnouts, but I'm going to tell you what, this is going to be worth your time right now because we are putting down a smoker. No bullshit. We're smoking it out. Let's hit it. I bought a vape, right? And the reason why I bought a vape is because Courtney always complained that I use hers. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy my own. So she just leaves me alone about it. Now she steals mine. I like it better. Oh, and you have one of the protectors. You can't win with girls. Oh, don't be rude. <laughs> okay, well, we're in Mexico. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm really shitting my pants right now because I love this thing. You know, she's my baby. She's my best friend. And Fuck um, you, Chris. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't want her to get hurt. Like, if anything were ever to happen to her, like, I don't think I could live, you know? So we're gonna do the burnout because my tires are super uneven and like the noise is actually annoying. And I did hear that if you do a burnout and you make them even again, oh, it's already no tire noise. So let's make sure this is still recording. Is it still recording, Courtney? All right, so we're good. You ready? Ready. Hell yeah. This is all for my American friends. Hell yeah, brother.
<laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I wanted to hitchhike. Well, I'm sure you guys have been watching me for a while, and you know, I'm normally a no fucks given kind of guy, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I hated that burnout. That burnout hurt my soul, Courtney. Did it? It was just being weird. I, I think I have to try it in first. I think I want to just try a small one. If I don't like it, I'm just going to bounce out of it. I'm never doing a burnout again. But, like, it was trying to shift. The ABS was, like, blah, 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 like doing some weird shit. And, like, I was like, oh, baby. And she's not going to bang me tonight. Who? <laughs> <laughs> so let's try this in first real quick, Courtney. You think you're up for this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Well, I hope you enjoyed that burnout because I'm probably never gonna do one again And if I do happen to do one, it's not gonna be for a really long time I just don't want to break my truck I spent a lot of money on it and I really do like to sing a lot like it tows great it drives great And I actually did want to fix the tires like believe it or not like that's really why I want to do that burnout um Tomorrow we're gonna do the zero to 60 like I said Jack wasn't here So we couldn't do it and after that I don't think I'm gonna daily on this tune like the stage five or whatever the fuck it's called um, I think I'm just gonna go to like the tow mode just because I really wanted to do all this stuff because I really wanted to get better gas mileage and just driving here I was getting like 17 mpg so it really did help a lot but the burnout was sick. Courtney what'd you think of the burnout? It was probably like lamer of the burnouts I do you know it wasn't the coolest. For sure. Did it sound cool? Because it, it was miserable in here. Really? Oh, yeah. It was terrible. I, it was like going to 4K. I didn't want to like hit rev limiter. Like, I don't know. But we're going to get sushi because why not? Date night. Date night. Hey, guys. So we just got out of our dinner date, right? We're we're walking back to the truck. And what what's wrong with this picture right here? Look at these pizza wheels. Like, what the? Is that a sticker? Courtney, you want some pepperoni pizza? Oh, God, this is gross. All right, let's go home. I can't look at this no more. I do like the van, though. All right, guys, so I just got home, and before we end the video, I just wanted to give a shout-out to this person right here. I don't exactly know who did it yet. I didn't open the card yet. I wanted to, like, read it on camera, but I just thought it was super cool that someone really took their time to paint this and actually send it to HP Logic. Um, seeing this makes me kind of want to open a P.O. box just so you guys have, like, the chance to send me stuff, and I can, like, put it in videos if it's... Stuff like this. I just thought it was sick because I'm actually going to throw it on my wall. And I figured I would read the card out loud because, I mean, it's the least I can do. Got a love letter, Courtney. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris. Say hi to Alex and Courtney. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching your videos since the OG Hagger days with my hubby. It always brightens my day when you upload a new video and we always watch them together. Even when I've had a shitty day, you make me smile and laugh. Thanks for being awesome. I made you a painting to show my thanks. Keep it up, Deja. I think it's Deja, but her Instagram's right here if you want to check it out. Thank you for the painting. I really do appreciate it. It is awesome, and we are going to 100% be hanging this on the wall. So with that being said, guys, I think we're going to end the video here. If you guys like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Tomorrow, I'm going to be working on the drift car. We're going to be doing some 0 to 60 runs on in the truck, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm sure we're going to roll some more coal, so peace.